Good evening. I'm Marcus Manlius. And I'm Anthony Anius. And this is Roman Reality. Everything you need to know about Rome, right here. This has been an interesting week with the assassination of Caesar and the Battle of Philippi. We have some cutting edge footage of the interviews before all of this with Caesar, Antony, Cassius, and Brutus. And even some footage of the battle. Yeah, footage of the battle. But first, we'll turn it over to Samuel Sexton for the weather. Thanks, boys. I'm Samuel Sexton, and tonight there should be some thunder showers in Rome. Thanks, Zach. Now we have some footage before the battle with Cassius and Brutus about the whole plot. Cassius, it has been said that you manipulated Brutus into killing Caesar. Yes, that is true. I could see that he was in turmoil about Caesar becoming dictator, and I knew I could do something about it, so I took action. Brutus, is this true? Were you in turmoil about what was going on in Rome? I was quite worried about the whole Caesar ordeal, but and I'm still wondering if it was right. Would you have joined the plot if you knew Cassius was trying to manipulate you? Well, I think I would have done something about Caesar, but I don't think I would have killed him. What do you think about that, Cassius? I think I would have been able to get him in anyway. It has been said that you were very easily convinced by Cassius. What do you think that says about you? <laughs> well, with Cassius saying I was just as good as Caesar, I had a little bit of uh, ambition in me and I just wanted to rule a little bit, I guess. You wanted to be king? No, I didn't say that. Cassius, what do you think this says about you? I think it just says I am manipulative. Well, now if you don't mind, Cassius, I'd like to interview Brutus about some things. No problem. Thank you. So Brutus, I want to get a little bit into detail about you and Turmoil and all. Would you mind? No, go ahead. Alright, great. So you and Turmoil, how do you think people knew you were? Well, I was constantly reassuring myself about what I was doing is right. And I was always staying up late at night thinking about it, so... How does this affect your relationship with your wife? She killed herself. Anyways... On a brighter note, the fans of Roman Reality are just outside the studio showing their support. Here's the commoners trying to get into Studio 69. Doesn't seem like it's working out quite that well. Back to the studio. Yep, those are the commoners. Also, we have some noblemen up in the booth. Old nobleman Willis up in the booth. Luanius, how do you think the Battle of Philippi is going? Well, I honestly think Anthony's going to win because he had his plan all good to go and everything for this war, so... Oh. Hello? What? Are you serious? One second, you have a call. Oh, okay. Oh, you have a call? Alright. What happened? Well, it seems that our reporter in Philippi has uh, died, and uh, but a good thing is that she's faxing all of her reports to us and should be at the studio in about 15 minutes or so, so after this message we'll We'll take a short quick. break, we'll be right back. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Body break. After a long day, I like to come home and work out. Get the, get, just get the three weights, the three A weights going. You gotta pump your slump. And we're back. 
Those are some great commercials, weren't they? I love those body breaks. They amazing. are absolutely excellent. Yes, they yes, are. They are. I watch those every weekend. They're on the four. Are they? Maybe you can take Back to them from Philippi. I, I definitely will. Thank you. Anyway, thank you very much. Your camera and flash back men. We need the splashes because we're short on crew today. Yeah, it's, it's quite hard to run a studio with only three people. Oh, yes. you're darn too. Oh, I tell you. <laughs> All right. So, it says here that Brutus defeated Octavius. Yes, and now his soldiers are scavenging for goods and stuff from the dead troops. Of Octavius, yes. 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 It says that very good. Anyway, Antony also defeated Cassius. Yes, and now Cassius is going to kill himself, correct? I believe he already has killed himself. Oh. Yes, it says over here on page why, two. Why has he done that? Well, because I forget why he killed. I forget why he killed himself. It says right there. It says. It says. It says because he was seeing omens before, and then he believed that he was going to die on that day, so he simply killed himself. Okay. It also I thought his slave killed him though. Uh, yes. His slave. That's that's how yes. he. So now his slave is a free man. Yes, he is. Correct. Yes. Correct. The slave is free. So if you ever see him, say hi to the free slave men. All right. Brutus has also killed himself after he defeated Octavius because he's seen the troops coming up to kill him. So he asked Strato to hold the sword so he can jump upon it. I don't believe it was that, though. I believe he killed himself because he did so much wrong in his lifetime that he just felt like killing himself. Oh! Why, yes, you're right, Manlius. See, there you go. You are correct. I am correct. And it was Strato that killed him. Yep. Strato held the sword and he jumped upon it. Yes, much effort that was not needed was exactly. involved in that situation. Well, there you go. He really shouldn't have killed himself. I think if he had just lived his life, he would have been married eventually. What if Octavius and Anthony just came up and killed him? Well... We're branching off. We are branching off. Back to the topic. Anyways, now we have... To make everything interesting, as we always do on Roman Reality, we have an interview with Caesar and Anthony before all this... Nonsense. Yes, nonsense is a good word for it. Yes. And anyways, we're cutting to the interview now. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Anthony Aeneas, and I'm interviewing Anthony and Caesar, because there's only three goddamn people in the studio. Anyways, Anthony, Caesar, how's it going? You should have said my name before Anthony's here. I am no common man. Sorry about that. No need to apologize. He will not think any different of you. His thoughts there, kind of like the Northern Star. Anthony, you don't look so good today. What's the matter? Oh, much partying last night with Jack Daniels. What a fair fellow. So, Caesar, I hear you've been offered to be crowned king, but you've refused. Yes, that is correct. Well, why is that? The reason for it is because I am Caesar. I do as I please. Plus, I did not want to be crowned that day, and it was not legit. So, if it was legit, what would you have said? I just said I did not want to be king that day. Do you not have any more questions? Yes, I have many other important things to do, other than talk to you. But, I have more questions. I don't care! Don't you have to go to the capital? Yes, I shall go now! I must accompany Caesar on his expedition. Happy Eyes of March. And that concludes our show. What a great broadcast we had tonight. See you next week. That's Roman reality.